What is up, y'all? Um, today I got the Hoyt EL1 and I got a package in from Gecko Derm um, to put a Gecko Derm laminate on the bottom. So today I, I already did, you know, kind of a first impressions on it. Um, I kind of want to give you guys like my view on it, like a little bit deeper of a review on it, and just kind of tear the board apart and put that Gecko Derm on. So I figure I'll do that and chat with you guys while we do that. So first. Hoyt is fucking amazing. The board comes shipped with a carry board bag. Totally is a backpack. Nice side carry handle. And it folds together and locks up for quick and easy carry once you get where you're going. So if you want to travel with this board, you got everything you need. Even if it's just throwing it in while you go ride up to the mountains for the weekend and go take it out on some nice mountain roads. Um, Hoyt, it's a whole experience, top to bottom, absolute premium board. I am the brand ambassador for Hoyt Street Electric Boards. Throw that out there now, so maybe there's a little bit of bias. I don't know. I'm a brand ambassador with them because I want to be, not because I have to be. I chose this role and I'm super stoked to be doing it. So, um, yeah, you get a Hoyt board, you're going to get this dope backpack. Um, they send you a little bit of extra hardware, the tools you need, which is just, I think, a four or five metal Allen wrench. Um, let's see what we got here. Standard skate tool, um, a special short four mil Allen wrench. Pretty sure that's a four mil. Um, what else? Yep, three mil. And um, I got a couple of extra screws in there just in case. is super roomy. Um, the board sits in nice. It's got a nice big storage package uh, so you can throw in your remote charger. Um, you can throw in your actual board charger. It's got a space for the puck to go and then some extra pockets in there as well. Um, <clears throat> it's a really dope bag and you get so much when you get a Hoyt Street board because you're getting basically like some nice hand wrapping stuff. So that just kind of puts the whole board over the top. I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, you already know it's a Hoyt Street puck. Um, the puck remote, if you check around, I mean, this is absolutely the best remote on the market. Um, it's got great muscle memory forwards, brakes. If you're coming from a boosted, this is a great transition because it's the exact same muscle memory. Um, if you are a lefty, it's all inclusive. You hit the switch button. And then now the controls are reversed, so you, being a lefty, can ride out in style without trying to put the puck in your hand like that. Um, three modes, um, and they're beautiful. And when you get a deck, it's gonna match your deck. You can also order a Hoyt Skittle puck, and there's just a bunch of different color finishes you can pick with them. Um, additionally, there's nothing on the back of this except it says do not open, but if you're doing a DIY puck and you want something custom engraved, they'll custom engrave it for you. <clears throat> the board is super sick, top to bottom. <sighs> this is just beautiful. <laughs> um, up here, you've got a display that's going to tell you about how much juice you have in it. Um, I regularly get 12 to 14 miles out of this thing, the way I ride and that is riding around a lot of hills, a lot of heavy uh, throttling. Um, you could get up to 18 miles on it. I'd say 12 is probably a good call, 12 to 14. That's decent for just about any like nice uh, city board. Um, it does have a little bit of a kick tail back here. You can totally kick tail, uh, step it and pop up the front and grab it and run in. Um, this board in particular, is on Lazy Roland 97 millimeter glow wheels so they can be seen from really, really far away. Now, stock, you're gonna get this with the Hoyt Street Zubombs. Um, this is just what I happen to have on mine. I do love these wheels. They're nice and soft, they're nice and grippy, and they have a rounded lip profile so that um, when you're going over pain or over transitions or even if the board slides a little bit so that it's not so snappy and grabby. It just helps the transition a little bit better there. Um, they're great for visibility as far as that little ring on them. Um, it's an amazing thing to see at night. I think it's like 400 feet or something like that you can see them from. 
Um, yeah, um, let's talk about these motor mounts for a second and then we're gonna get to so much more about this deck. It's just, ah, this whole board is amazing. Um, but everything here is designed in um, Oregon uh, by Hoyt Street. So uh, these dope motor mounts are actually self-adjusting motor mounts. So when you're doing your belts, tensioning them, swapping out belts, there's really not much for you to worry about getting it right. The belts are gonna auto tension and then you just tighten down um, with all the tools provided. <clears throat> this guy's also amazing. We got on here um, motor mount skid plates and that just makes this board um, able to do the most amazing thing, which is just stand perfectly up like that. Now, I think that is just so dope. The board is just totally amazing top to bottom. So it is a custom milled bamboo deck designed by Hoyt Street. Um, one of the things that Jeff was wanting to do with his boards is um, make a really nice sleep ride and something that's a work of art. But you actually wonder, do I wanna hang this on my wall or do I wanna ride it? And um, fucking nailed it. <laughs> so the, the deck itself is a duo deck. So if we spin this around here, um, you'll see, I mean, you can see the oh, 2200 watt motors um, down here and then they cable up into here and the deck actually separates and inside here is two 10S, or I'm sorry, three 10S packs. So it's a 10S 3P. Um, you got a nice charge board here, power button here and everything comes around with four mil hex screws. So we're going to take this guy off here in a minute and check out the insides and everything and then I'll get into putting on um, the, the protective laminate from Gecko Derm. Um, <clears throat> what else do I want to talk about with this thing? It's amazing. So I love it because I can ride this thing around. It's got a really, really nice, it's got a really, really nice street feel to it. Um, caliber trucks. So it's got, you know, nice caliber trucks, well-known name brand. Um, what else? Just such a beautiful sleek board. Top speed is 28 miles an hour, um, and it'll totally hit that. <laughs> um, it's definitely fun. Uh, I like the concaveness of it, how it's kind of got like a slight drop in the front and the back, because when I'm riding, I know where my feet are. Um, and if I want to accelerate hard, I just put my little heel up on the rise in the back, and it just gives you kind of something to push off with. Um, very, very nice definitely like it and like the way that it feels. Um, <clears throat> so I'm using my own tools and not necessarily that little Allen wrench because um, that little Allen wrench would just take forever to get this thing off. And I'm gonna get this off and show you guys what's inside of here. And then I wanna wipe down this deck and this guy's already a little bit scuffed up, so it would've been really nice to have these, you know, a couple of years ago when these decks first came out. But it is what it is. Um, so, I have been absolutely loving this board. It's my daily rider. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know that um, I have been riding um, my mountain board a lot. I'm so in love with my mountain board. And it's just a whole new level of stuff there with that. Um, I can go places I can't with any other board. <clears throat> but it's definitely not this. When I'm on that board, it's a different kind of skate. You know, electric dirt skate, whatever. Um, electric dirt board, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is like a pure skate street feel. And there's nothing like shredding, whether it's the downtown streets here in Redmond or over in downtown Seattle, um, or whether you get up on a nice winding hilly country road and you're just shredding. Um, it's beautiful to be able to just charge it and, and hit, you know, at 20, 28 miles an hour if you want to. So yeah, let's crack this open and take a look. So we got all the screws out. And the duo bottom just lifts off very, very simply. Um, Inside of it, it's got some nice foam lining um, to help deaden the sound, but also keep everything in tight. If you look, you can probably see these little lumps right here. These little lumps are just um, uh, rises that help press down on the battery packs to hold them all in. So, I'm gonna sit this down over here. Let's 
So yeah, these are the guys I'm talking about right there. Um, they just press down here on the battery packs. And we are, yeah, that's about right about the, yeah, about halfway, uh, which makes sense. I was out riding today. Um, all the packs kind of just sit in there nicely. We got back here is where the um, motor controller is, the ESC. Um, power button is here. Um, charge port and everything here. And um, they did have uh, originally, so this is kind of a cool thing to know. Hoyt originally um, had a nice little bus and all the batteries just clicked into the bus and locked in, which was an ingenious design. Um, over time, the bus was wearing out a little bit, so um, they dropped back to the um, XT60 connectors. Yeah, the XT60 connectors on them. And then they just all join in in um, uh, parallel at that point. Now, up here at the top, you'll see this is the receiver. So they've actually put the receiver for the Hoyt Puck controller up towards the front of the board. And if I move this out of the way, you can see the channel there where they did that. But you can also see the channel that comes up with the lights for um, the battery gauge. <laughs> yeah, so that's the deck. Let's check out this uh, other stuff here. Let's turn this guy off. Alright, so we got us a nice Hoyt deck here. I'm going to set this guy off on the side and bring this over around here. Now, good, I'm recording. I was worried I wasn't. <laughs> so this guy's got some miles on it, you know? We look down here, see you know, a few scrapes, a few scrapes, and then right here we definitely got some scrapage going on um, and a little bit of dirt, so. I am first, we're going to wipe this guy down a little bit and do a little bit of washing. Let's see if we can get things a little bit cleaner. We want to be nice and clean. Anything that is on this deck is going to be underneath the um, gecko derm. So any dirt that's on it is going to be permanently under it or until you take the gecko derm off. So the gecko derm is a polymer, plastic of some sort, <laughs> uh, a laminate, and um, it can take minor scrapes and scuffs. And when exposed to heat and light, uh, UV light, I believe, if I read correctly, you can go check out their site. Um, it self heals and will mend minor tears and scrapes and abrasions. Um, so it's a protective laminate that also um, self heals itself to some degree. Um, the experience that I had on the boosted boards was it made them really shiny, like it made the battery really, really shiny, um, which is cool. <laughs> as good as it's going to get. It's nice and clean. I'll bring it back around and show you. Nice and clean, but you know, it's these guys right here are definitely going to show through. Now, I'm stoked to put this on. Um, so what you can expect to get when you get the um, protective package from the folks over at Gecko Derm is you're going to get the laminate. They're going to send you out a squeegee so you don't have to like worry if you don't have the tools. Um, they always throw you in a nice little sticker and then um, a bottle of spray, which I believe is a water solution. And um, it's similar to a degree of just like putting on window film if you've ever done window tinting. Um, we're going to get everything nice and watery, the laminate on both sides, we're going to get this on both sides, and then we're going to squeegee it out. And we're going to let everything dry for a while. Um, so. Pop that sticker there, and then this should unroll. Nice, so that's the laminate. And looks like it's just going to go down just like that on the board. You know when you're peeling it off, it's going to be the sticky side. And you want everything to be really, really wet. Like, really 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 wet so soak the board 
just really make sure it's soaked. You want to use like basically the whole bottle of this while doing the gecko derm laminate. Um, they've given you enough. You can't use too much. You know what? To be honest with you, I uh, should have went on and read over their directions again before I did this. But I didn't. Then. So you just want to look at it, make sure you got everything lined up nice. And then the next thing is, is um, oh yeah, I'm gonna squeeze a bunch of this shit all over the top too. And the reason you put it on the top is just to kind of help lubricate everything. Um, I don't want to try to get it nice and flat and even. You want to look along the edges and make sure that it's kind of lined up and in the very least that you don't have the laminate hanging over the side of one of your edges. So. And the way that I'll probably work it is I'll start here in the middle, work this way and this way, down to the tail in the front, and then pull the sides down last. I'm just looking for any little bubbles, like right here. Push them out. Push them out. Push them out. That's it. See if we come back this way. Just like that. Yeah, beautiful. Oh gosh, this is really gonna look nice. Okay, here's the sides. There you go. And I got that little bubble right here. I'm just gonna push them all out. Okay, so I'm gonna do this a bunch more now without having that camera in my hand. Go over it a bunch. I definitely think that I have them all, and then I look back, and then I find a few places where I don't have them all. Cool. I think that's a good one. Wipe off the excess, and then bring it over, and look under the light. I'm gonna bring it over for you to see what we've done. And then, we're gonna put it back on the board and put it together. Um, yeah. And, huh. I mean, here was the scrapes, but it, it honestly, like, can't tell as much. 
So I don't know, cause it's still wet. And like window film, it takes a few days for everything to like dry and really, you know, dry and see what your final product is, I feel. Um, I'll wipe this down some more. <laughs> but I think that um, it's gonna actually hide some of those scrapes. So I think that's pretty amazing. So make sure we got all the water off. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go meet up with Ginger on Wheels and um, deliver the Hoyt package to him. Let him borrow it and check it out. And he does reviews on um, all types of electrics. So I'm interested to see what his thoughts are. Um, he's knowledgeable as far as um, electric vehicles goes, <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, so I'm interested to see what his take is on it and how he feels about it. Um, like I said, check out Lansing's uh, video in the comments or in the description below, bubble above, whatever. And go give Ginger on Wheels, Ginger on Wheels a follow. Um, I don't know when he'll drop a video on this because I still have to take it to him. And I expect that to be tomorrow. But go give him a follow. He's got some good content. Um, he does different reviews. Sometimes he does like a ride and talk where he's on one of his scooters and you know riding around different trails and um, talking about it, I guess. <laughs> that wasn't bad. Um, I don't know how long this took. Um, yeah, I think you can definitely do this whole thing in 30 minutes or less. I think I probably did it in about 20 to 25, and that's talking with you um, about this beautiful, beautiful board. <sighs> and now it's got such a shine to it. So, um, the charger, let's look at this guy real quick. So it's got like an aluminum case, uh, uh, generic charger. Wing kind is the brand, um, 42 volts at five amps. So it can charge at five. It's going to be charging this at five amps. Um, if I completely drain it, it recharges in about two hours or less, which is reasonable. That's about what the boost it was at. And it's just got a three prong connector for it is what plugs in here. So that's the board. It's an amazing board. Um, I think I really covered just about everything that I didn't cover in my last video, you know. Um, I love the concave deck. I love that I can feel when my front foot is right where I want it to be. I love that I can feel when my back foot is right where I want it to be. So, um, that's what's up with this one. I love you guys. Thank you for checking it out. Um, I hope to be doing a video on my mountain board soon. Um, I really just need to sit down and talk about it and then put it together. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about that board and can't wait to share it with you guys. So um, drop me a comment below if you have any questions about the Gecko Derm. Like I said, um, I love this board. It's amazing. Um, I love riding it. I love drone. I love riding this thing anywhere and everywhere. Um, if you're in the Seattle area, Redmond area, you want to demo this, hit me up. Um, we can meet up. Um, thanks for checking it out. Go check out Lansing's uh, unboxing impressions. He's going to have a review coming up. And then, um, like I said, I'll give Ginger on Wheels a follow. And I'm going to get this board over to him tomorrow so he can start riding on it. Love you guys. <laughs>